June 15, 1882. A prison break in the Arizona Territory. Tombstone, Arizona Territory. Two weeks later, June 29, 1882. Morning, Clint. Hi, Harris. How do you like the sheriff's desk? Well, I don't like the responsibilities. How about a game of cribbage? Yeah, I've got time for a game. Good, it won't take me long to trim you. My deal. Yeah. Any news from Clay? No news. My crib. <clears throat> well, there's nibs for a pair. Sixteen for two more. Seventeen. Eighteen, two more for the pair of aces. Twenty-two. Cribbage, huh? Yep. Who's winning? I am. We just started. Telegrams? Sheriff here? Out of town. Expect him back soon. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a telegram? Yeah, it's for the sheriff. Well, I'm his deputy. That's right. You're his deputy. And when Clay's gone, I'm in charge. That's right, Ben. You know what I'm in charge of? The telegraph office. Look, if it's personal, okay. But if it's official business, hand it over. Come on. It's official business. It's addressed to the sheriff. So if you want to hear about the four escaped convicts heading east from Yuma, you just ask the sheriff when he comes back and picks up his telegram. Four escaped convicts? Heading this way from Yuma, huh? How'd you know? How'd I know? Oh, well, I guess you can handle it. And Ben and his practical jokes. Pretty grim joke. Four escaped convicts. Yeah. I wonder what the odds are that... No, nah, it's impossible. What? Wondering what the odds are that Clay riding down alone from Globe might run into him. Nah, I wouldn't book those odds. Look. Aces and eights. Dead man's hand. Where are you going? I have sent a telegram to Yuma. I want more information about four escaped convicts. <laughs> Actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened, in the town too tough to die. Tombstone Territory. Same day, June 29, 1882, on the road to Tombstone. Drop your guns. Looks like we caught ourselves a lawman. Maybe, maybe not. These can be bought or stolen. That one wasn't. Who are you? 
I'm Clay Hollister. Who are you? Where are you from? I'm from Tombstone. You'll find out all about it. Tombstone, huh? Well, that's interesting. Because that's what you're going to get out of this deal, mister. A tombstone. <laughs> did a good job on him, mister. He was dead when I got here, and you know it. Yeah, sure. Well, check my guns. You tell the truth. I guess we get somebody else to thank. Toby? I didn't kill Finch. I never killed anybody in my life. Parker. Well, I thought about it, but I didn't do it. That leaves you, Eggleston. Not me. I like Finch. Oh, it looks like maybe he shot himself in the back. Huh? Maybe. Right now, we're going to take care of you, Hollister. Kill him here. Hey, what do you want to do? Go back to jail in a hurry? Somebody else might have heard those shots. Come on, let's go. What happened to Carlson? He a friend of yours? That's right. Well, he had quite a place here. Stacked with provision, a fortune in silver. Murder was a habit with Finch. <laughs> Tell you to, Toby? Shut your mouth. What'll you do if I don't? Kill me? Hold it, Toby. He's needling you. Yeah? And you tie him up. Well, why tie him up? What are we waiting for? You kill me, you're gonna have to kill both of them. What do you mean? If they get captured, they'll testify against you. And you'll hang for murder. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you. Get rid of me and the silver's a two-way split. Maybe Finch wasn't the only greedy one around here, huh? Finch wanted too big a share. I only want what's coming to me. That's what I want. I plan to get it. Oh, they'll give it to you. You're working hard, aren't you, Sheriff? You got a gun, Eggleston, you kill him. What's the matter? You scared? You weren't scared of Finch? Go ahead. You do it. You better remember Eggleston. You got witnesses. I got a way to settle this. Low card kills. I'll settle for that. Yeah. Then Lady Luck killed him. I can tell you right now who's going to lose. And Lady Luck won't have anything to do with it. Play back yet? Not yet. There's anything on your mind? Same thing as on yours. Another wire about those four escaped convicts. They tracked them as far as Cochise County, where they broke into a general store for guns and supplies. I remember this one, Finch. Read about the trial. He's a killer, Quinn. Know anything about the others? A little. Finch is the only out-and-out -out killer. The rest are borderline cases. Well, maybe that's why they're heading for the border, huh? Yeah. Let me know when Clay gets back. Maybe I ought to send a wire to Globe. What for? Well, if they are still in the county, well, who knows? 
Four against one's pretty rough odds. Coach, East County covers a lot of territory, Quint. And if Clay does meet up with him, it wouldn't surprise me if he came riding into town with four prisoners. I still think I'll send a telegram. It's not necessary. I already have. <laughs> Low card kills. Turn them over. King. Three. Seems like I got a good chance of being the middleman. Nine. Looks like you're elected, Toby. So Eggleston dealt, huh? Man, like I told you before, I knew who was gonna lose. They're getting ready to shoot you in the back right now. Why, you... All right, Toby. Now. You dealt. Why didn't we cut? Maybe you were afraid to. What difference does it make anyway? Plenty. This time we cut. Uh, what are we going to do? Keep cutting cards until it comes out the way you want it to? All right. I've got it. Three guns, three bullets. We'll draw together. He gets them all. <laughs> June 29, 1882. Mid-morning in Tombstone. Clay Hollister was several hours overdue. Any news from Globe? According to this answer, Clay left Globe before dawn. Should have been back a couple hours ago. Yeah. Going somewhere? Taking a ride. Any place in particular? North. Think you might meet Clay riding in? Maybe. Where are you going? Keep you company. Oh, suit yourself. I'm just riding out to exercise my horse. Well, why the shotgun? Going to force him to exercise? Well, you know, I'm not superstitious, Harris, but I still don't like the idea of that dead man's hand showing up. I don't like it either. If anything does happen to Clay, it's your fault. My fault? Sure. You're the one suggested that game of cribbage. You're real funny, Harris. I got one consolation. Finch's killer will make sure that the other two of you keep me company. Of course, whoever the other two of you are, you could stay alive if you turn the killer over to me. You could be in Mexico with the silver by the time I could follow you. Start counting. Hollister, you just give me an idea.
50-50 split of the silver is better than a bullet. Toby killed Finch. We killed Toby in self-defense. That puts us in the clear. Yeah, once we get rid of the witness. Killing me isn't going to save you from a bullet in the back. He can trust me. Sure he can. Just as much as you can trust him. I'm the only one that knows his country, Parker. You're never going to see Mexico without me. You'd have to trust me. What about it? What about him? Well, we'll take care of our friend, accidental-like. Outside. Come on, move. Grounds all churned up. Somebody heading for Tombstone. Changed their mind. Went off in that direction. Why? Nothing up there. Yeah. Think it might be Clay? Maybe. Let's go. Well, let's dump him in the mine. Later. You know how to set off an explosion? There's nothing to it. As long as you get clear before the dynamite goes off. There's nothing worse than being buried under tons of earth. Well, take your time. Maybe you can think of something worse. I'm in the rush. But we are. You stay here. Sure. Sure, you stay here while he runs off with the silver. I'll go with it. I can carry a few sticks of dynamite myself. You might trip and fall with the silver. It's him, all right. Finch. Prince, lots of them. Yeah, and I think I know who's. Yeah, maybe Clay's, too. Maybe. His badge. Maybe he's still alive. Here it is. If you wanted to come, you'd carry it. Keep your eye on Hollister while I find some fuses. If you can trust me that far.
short. I'll just tie a couple of them together. Uh, too many knots. Put out the fuse. Got here just in time. In time for what? Uh, to cut the ropes. These are the escaped convicts. I don't know, I guess so. Hands tied, no guns. All right, I give up. How'd you do it? Well, I had a little help. Greed, lady luck. And maybe the dead man's hand. Killed him. I don't know. I guess the lucky mule mine wasn't very lucky for anybody. Well, destroyed all of them, including Eggleston here. Say, Quint. Yeah. What are you doing riding around out here? Who's minding the office? The office? Or oh, you just rode out too. I'll be hanged if I'm gonna worry about him next time. I never did. I was just out exercising my horse. seems to have lost some of his confidence. Ah, uh, well, I imagine he'll perk up in time to give some fast answers to the federal marshal. They better be fast. Say, Quint, how about doing the rounds? Yeah, as soon as we finish our game. Harris? All right, why not? Day's shot anyway. Well, I'm ahead. I pegged six points. Yeah, I know. And you haven't pegged any. I know, I know. Say, you're, uh, you're not using that same old deck, are you? Yeah, why not? Well, that's the one that gave you the aces and eights, the dead man's hand. There might be another one in there. Say, Quint, if, uh, if you don't mind, I, I do have a paper to get out tomorrow. Yeah. I got my responsibilities, too. You wouldn't be superstitious, would you? Superstitious? <laughs> of course not. Whistle me up a memory 
tune that'll carry me to Tombstone Territory. If your past has run afoul of the law, it's a handy place to be. Cause your future's just as good as your draw in Tombstone Territory. Whistle me up, a man, oh, whistle me back where 